Hi everybody, this is Azario Flame here, and today I'm going to go over a quick way to cleanse a new crystal, how to program it, and how to look up more information on what you can do with that particular stone. So if you like that, stay tuned, and we will see you after the intro. All right, everybody, so this is Azario Flame here, and today I just got this wonderful, cool new piece of citrine in Spirit Quartz. So citrine is traditionally known as a stone of the merchants or stone of wealth. Um, citrine does have a number of other things that also corresponds to the sacral chakra. Um, there is tons and tons of information on this, but what I'm going to be using this for is specifically as a merchant stone to bring me prosperity. So now I have received this new stone. This is got a lot of energy to it already, but people are always handling these in shops and we don't really know what's attached itself to it over time, etc. Um, so with this, what I'm going to do is I want to cleanse it, but because it is, a uh, spirit quartz geode i don't know if you can see that there but it is very very fragile so a lot of people will tell you to uh, spritz these with salt water or to run them under a running tap or to put them out in the rain to cleanse them i highly 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 recommend that you do your research on all of your stones before you cleanse them with water because lots of them will disintegrate or become diluted or poisoned with the water or it can be have other minerals from your water can seep in and cause troubles so for this I'm specifically not going to do that um, now when I'm thinking of prosperity the number one thing for prosperity that I think of is the planet Jupiter Jupiter is a very prosperous energy it's great for wealth magic um, Jupiter has to do with Thursday so for me personally if I was going to empower this I would uh, specifically for a merchant stone, I would empower it on uh, Thursday in the hour of Jupiter. Now you can look this, those up online with simple planetary times calculators. There's bunches for free on Google. Check them out. Now another thing that is also good for um, merchants is the planet Mercury. So Mercury is basically communication, uh, has to do with the god Hermes, um, so that would be a Wednesday. So you could charge it on a Wednesday, the day of Mercury, in the hour of Jupiter, and that would help you out as well. So you would have the communication strongly overpowering to get out there, and then you would have the energy of Jupiter to bring in the prosperity. So that would be a good time for you to do your cleansing and to do your charging. Now to cleanse this, because I'm not going to use water, I'm actually going to use an energetic technique that I've shared on other videos. Um, and we are going to be breathing in the elements, and then we're going to be breathing that element into this thing. So we're going to do earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, one at a time. We're going to work our way through them. So you're just going to focus on each element as you go. So you can do this by just thinking earth or visualizing earth or you can use the alchemical sigil of earth if you want the upside down triangle with the line through it in black or green um, you can use the banishing or invoking pentagrams uh, if you are cleansing you would use the banishing and then when you're charging it after you would use the invoking okay so you're going to breathe in the element and breathe it out and you're gonna use your fingers to just push away the energy as it cleans it so you're gonna do earth air, fire, water, and spirit. And you're going to just go work your way through that, washing away all of the impurities until you feel that it is energetically cleansed. And then what you're going to do is you're going to breathe the energies of those into it to charge it. So you're going to visualize that energy going in and glowing and charging it. So I would visualize green for earth and then I would visualize blue for water and red for fire and yellow for air and then I would visualize white for spirit just charging this and then I would give it a statement of intent like I cleanse consecrate and charge this stone to bring me wealth prosperity and business in the name of the goddess of the moon and the god of the sun so it is my will be done and then breathe your will into the stone. Okay, so then now I would have done this 
on the day of Mercury and the hour of Jupiter, or the day of Jupiter and the hour of Mercury perhaps, or perhaps you just want it to be done on the day and the hour of Jupiter. Look that up and work with that. So now you have charged this, you've put it full of your intent. Now say, Stone, I charge you and give you the task of bringing me business, prosperity, and commerce. I ask this of you now. Go about this and bring this to me now. In the name of the goddess of the moon and the god of the sun, so it is, my will be done. Okay? And then, now I have charged this with my intent, so then I would leave this in my shop or close to my till, or if I'm going to a market, I'd take it with me in order to attract prosperity. Now, you're going to want to periodically cleanse and charge your crystals. Um, they do pick up shit from the outside world and from people, especially commerce stones. They will pick up negativity from your customers. Um, so I, this is for me, for a commerce stone, I would do this like every Thursday or every Wednesday or whatever time I deem fit. Okay. Now, if you don't have time to make it on a planetary time, um, you can use the hands of a clock. So if the minute hand is going from 12 to 6, it's going down, that would be a good time for banishing. And if it's going from the 6 to the 12, then that would be a good time for invoking. So any time from a 30 to an o'clock, then that would be a good time for you to do this as well. So 1, 30, 2, 33, 34, 30, you get the idea. Start at the 30 and then any time through until the zero, okay? So if the hand's moving from the six to the 12, you are good, do it in that time frame. That's another good time for manifestation. Um, you can also do this on moon phases, depending on your tradition, this may fall on a full moon or a new moon. Um, so look into that. Lots of people believe that if you cast prosperity stuff on a new moon, as the moon grows and it waxes on, then it will grow your intention. Others say that if you do it on the full moon when it's at its peak, then that's when you're going to harness the most energy. So go with whatever your tradition says or whatever feels good for you. Um, so cleanse it with the five elements, charge it with the five elements, cleanse and consecrate it in the name of whatever gods or goddesses that you want to work with. And that's all there is to a basic cleansing and charging of a stone and make sure you give it a job. Okay, so tell the spirits what you'd like them to do. There are diva spirits that rule over each mineral. Speak to them and tell them what to do and give it tasks. You can also give them offerings of incense, candles, etc. for doing their work. And then I would periodically cleanse, charge, and do the whole thing all over again just to make sure that it's safe and cleansed and isn't fouled up by any negative energy. I hope this has found you well and that this is useful to you and helps you to ignite the light within. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like this video, give us a share, give us a like, let me know in the comments how you like to cleanse and charge your crystals. I'm always up for learning new things. I've been doing this for over 20 years and I learn something new every day from our customers. So I'm always good with that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so every time I get a new idea or something that I want to teach you, you're going to be one of the first to know. And check out our web store, www.northwitch.store. Thank you for tuning in and have a fantastic day.